guys, I've got my stainless steel colander here. This is the small one. It comes in a three-piece set. I've got some strawberries I'm going to rinse, but I'm wanting to show you guys the salad and berry spinners. The first time I'm going to use it, and then I'm going to pause and show you after I wash some lettuce and see how well it works. So let me rinse these strawberries and get them washed off. I've actually already scrubbed them a little bit and rinsed them a little bit, but I wanted to get them wet, show you how it works. With this salad and berry spinner, it comes with two bowls inside. The bigger bowl obviously is for larger greens, sometimes like, you know, us southerners that like our collard and mustard greens and turnip greens. And then the center one is for berries and for smaller ones. So I'm just going to carefully put my strawberries in. I'm going to take my lid, put this on, and this is similar to our manual food processor as far as it's got the locked handle that comes right up once you slide the button so it's easy storage. And you're just going to take it on berries, you only want to spin it just a couple of times, so like five times for maybe strawberries. So let me see how well it dries. Yeah. And if you noticed, it's spun in here. And you want to make sure it stops spinning and it takes off the excess water of the strawberries. Now this still could be spun a couple more times, but you don't want to spin too much or it'll give you mushy strawberries. So now that I've got the excess water spun off, then I'm gonna show you next my uh, romaine lettuce. All right guys, I am getting my lettuce prepared here. I wanted to show you guys my salad choppers. They're kind of messy here, but they are really awesome. It's got this locking yeah, right. mechanism that is red and it keeps it safe for children and it's kind of hard to get pushed down at first to make sure you unlock it and once it's unlocked you've got the sharp blades and I have rinsed and washed my lettuce so now it's just easy to pick up and chop you don't necessarily have to chop your lettuce before you put it in the spinner but I am doing so and these things are great for chopping up chicken, meat um, Anything that you need to just get into chunks. No. All right. That's all I'm going to do for now for the... Let's see how well this spins my lettuce. Now, of course, you can do a bigger grouping. I'm only feeding me and my husband and son. So let's see here. Make sure it's locked on on right. There we go. Let's get this a good spin. You gotta bring it all the way to the top. If it's spinning fast, it won't let you spin it again. It tells you to spin it for salad about 20 times. see that probably wasn't quite 20 but it also has a brake on it you push this button and it's a brake and it stops the spinning look at that my lettuce is fairly dry I could spin it a few more times but then see all that excess lettuce uh, water that's at the bottom of the bowl and you can spin it more if you'd like thanks everybody